some reason, throughout that entire drone scene, he was being such a little. But he's cruising now. All right, Bruce, let's go. I probably should have got the drone in the air after I had taken him for a run because I think he was just excited. He was just biting the leash. Dude, you good? Or are you gonna poo? I think he's gonna poo. We got a super busy day today. Wanted to get Bruce a good workout in this morning because we got a big drive. We're heading back to the house. Let's see what Beck's up to. Back in Mel's. Cleaned up the entire house. Made sure we are good to go. Beck is not feeling 100%, but she's I'm getting, getting there. Later. She's having soup. Bruce is terrified. He will not leave the front door. <laughs> he thinks we're leaving. We're not leaving you, Bruce. We're not leaving you. Yeah, the past hour he's been like, any time we get up, even if it's to go upstairs or anything, he runs to the front door. He's so terrified we're going to leave him. But we're not. He's coming on this adventure with us. Bruce? <laughs> Not forgetting you. Not forgetting you, Bruce. Not forgetting you. Not forgetting you, Bruce. We're not forgetting you, Bruce. Bruce, we're just switching the cars. We are not forgetting you. Where's Bruce? I'm assuming in the van. We didn't forget Bruce, did we? <laughs> Told you we weren't gonna forget you, dude. Yes. I wonder where he's gonna sit. If if he goes full time with us, I mean, <laughs> if we get a dog, I think we gotta build a little platform here. Yeah, totally. Feel that, Bruce. All right, buddy. Let's Should I give him room. my seat? <laughs> I can't say I'm comfortable. But hey, if my dog's good, I'm good. Why don't you rearrange those butts on? I can't. On? I don't know how. I just like, I'm, everyone's overwhelmed. <laughs> <laughs> We've been having a few issues with our printer for shipping out orders and that means we've stopped at the office to try to help figure that out. I'm gonna pop out and um, at the mall near us, there's- Should I bring Bruce in or no? No. So, he'll stay here? Yeah, he'll just stay here for a couple minutes. Maybe I'll put him in the other van. With all the other dogs? Uh -huh. He'll freak out. Okay, stay Bruce. Uh, just across from us here, there's a shop that does like cold pressed organic juices and I'm actually gonna get like some aloe vera. It's okay, babe. It's okay. I'm right here. Some aloe vera Kleenex for my nose. Bobby! How you doing? Hey, good, Eamon. How are you doing? Your video was a hit. You know that? Was it? Your tour? Was it a good hit? Oh, we were out of focus that whole time. Um, yeah, your video did really well. You want to you wanna say anything to all those lovely people that were writing comments? Hi, everybody. Thanks for all the lovely comments. I haven't had a chance to read them all, but... Uh, you guys are fantastic, thank you. You spent about 14 hours trying to fix a printer that's called a Dymo yeah. uh, 4XL. So, like, how upset are you gonna be if I just click the... I'm gonna jump out the window. I'm gonna jump right out the window and you'll see, you can film it if you want. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So I googled it and found a forum that just said unplug the printer for 30 seconds. And we did that and now it worked. I've unplugged the printer 30 times but not for 30 seconds. Only for 24 seconds? Only for 29.5 seconds. <laughs> Wow, I can't believe that. You don't you have no idea how many hours I spent trying to figure this out. That's so frustrating. For 30 seconds. One other thing I wanted to quickly look at while we're at the office is maybe putting a little perch for Bruce to sit between the table, the chairs. I don't want to spend too much time, but if I have a scrap piece of wood, then I'll install that right now. The only piece of wood I have in stock is this other piece of wood on it. So I've got to try and get that off. Splitting the piece of wood. The piece won't come off. I'm gonna cut it instead. This will fit there. And then, yeah, just like that. And I can kind of rest on the plastic sides. Oh. Ah, I forgot to take into account the swivel seat. Huh. Okay, great success. Uh, changed up my design like kind of last minute, but 
I didn't take the swivel seat into account, so I built legs on it. Okay, here we go. Perch has been built. We're ready to hit the road. Here we go. Now Bruce can sit with us. Now this is gonna be smoother sailing. Hey, boo boo. Okay, I say we skip my mom's. Absolutely. Let's get on the road. Let's go. Quebec, here we come. We made it a few hours. We're gonna stop at Pita Pit, grab some food. Watch the car, watch the car. Old ladies in small towns. I'm gonna get you what I got. Hey, how you doing? Can I get two falafels? Thank you. I don't know if anybody else has a relationship like this, but literally, as we're driving, I saw a sign for Pita Pet. I didn't say anything to Beck. We go another hour, and she gets up and she says, hey, there's a Pita Pit in Belleville, or wherever we are. Belleville? Yeah, good boy. Um, what do you think about going there for dinner? I, I know, her. it's actually like, that's not a lie. No, it's not a lie, we do that all the time. It's very, very true. <laughs> it's great. I feel like I've been vlogging a lot. Mm -mm. That's only because I have a Rudolph nose and a little bit of an attitude problem today because of my sickness. Just three oh days my ago. God, she admits it. <laughs> just... She's admitting it. Sorry. And it's things like Come that on, that just make it worse. Come on, Bruce. I feel like my priorities have totally shifted now that we have a dog. I just want to find a really great spot to camp out, let him run around for a couple of hours before the sun really sets. So I found one on iOverlander that's about an hour from here. We're going to start making our way there. And then you will see Puppy Bruce just having a gay old time. He still loves us. Thank you. Thank you Have a good one. We're only like 10 minutes away, so I was gonna let Bruce out, but I think he'll be all right. But I think he might be stuck in this door. Bruce, did you figure out how to turn around, buddy? <laughs> So we found this spot on I Overlander. It's just off the highway. Bruce is running with Beck down to the water, I guess, to meet some other dogs. Yes, good boy. We're gonna try and tire Bruce out just from getting him to run back and forth. God, it feels so good to be out of the city. It feels so good to be out of the city. It feels so good to have a dog that's pressuring us to get out of our I van. Love it. It's really nice. I love it. Bruce wants to be in the vlog. Normally, if this was just us, we probably would have just been sitting in that van. Yeah. on Instagram or you know doing work or something and it's just nice to be able to force yourself to come out and explore the this water so meet pretty. new people I feel like having a dog is such an easy way to meet others totally it's super social it's not good for introverted back when I go outside and I'm like I just gonna throw the ball for a bruise and then the neighbors are inviting me over for a drink and this guy is like best friends with Bruce so nah, yeah it's great I love it <laughs> Here you go, Mr. Bruce. I just asked Beck if Bruce is wet and muddy, and she checked and said, "Yeah." There we go. There we go. Hey, you gonna get a, a van all wet and muddy? Yeah. That's all right. And today's book is all about how Burlington Bruce goes on an adventure. He leaves suburbia. Beck's plan, if the vlogs don't work out, is she's gonna write. A children's book called Burlington Bruce, all about Bruce. Burlington Bruce leaves suburbia. <laughs> Burlington Bruce goes on an adventure with his aunt and uncle. Burlington Bruce loves his aunt and uncle. Bruce, sign off the vlog. Say goodbye to your new friends. <laughs> Good night, everybody. We hope you had a lovely day and you're excited for a great week ahead. We know we are because we got Bruce for one more week. Probably should have mentioned this in the beginning of the vlog, but if you didn't like dogs, you probably didn't like today's vlog. <laughs> Very Bruce heavy. Yeah. But I we think couldn't help would, ourselves. That would so be us. We'd be those annoying parents with their dogs. Wouldn't yeah, we? definitely. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm excited to be back in good health very soon please make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already we would love to have you along for the dri drive slash journey for the journey of us <laughs> all right until next time good night bruce good night trying to clean up some dog hair and we do not have a lint roller <laughs> well we got duct tape it's actually working really well it is working that back section's looking crispy you're not allowed back up buddy <laughs> His tag's wailing.
Why can I say that today? His tag's wailing. His what am I trying to say? Wailing? What am I trying to say? Waving? No, his tail is Wag wagging, but I'm saying. <laughs> I don't know, we're not dog life experts anymore. Wow, I can't speak. Good night. <laughs>